And hello everybody, welcome back to Mordecai 1.0 playthrough of Borderlands. Um, uh, yeah, we're back with Borderlands. I decided to record some footage again and to play some Borderlands because I was, I was into it. Um, I'm also playing, I, I also played this in Dutch with my uh, friend Nick, uh, as you guys saw. Hope you guys enjoyed it, even if you're not Dutch, you know, you may, you may actually learn. Um, we're, I don't know where we left the, oh, we're at Sledge, okay, we're, we're, we're literally at Sledge. We, we're gonna kill Sledge, it seems. We have some, some good weapons here, level 12. Uh, this is the Savage Masher, and then the Solid Sniper, or just, yeah. These are pretty solid weapons. Um, I, I I really want to reset my build. Uh, what I want to go for is most likely middle tree, and then um, like this is sniper. So for all guns, okay, this might be, might be nice. Shoot an enemy with a sniper rifle, reducing the cooldown of your. Bloodwing. This one might be nice too. Ignore shields. Increase the blood of damage. That's also OP. But uh, I think I'm gonna go for right and middle tree. Um, so I might have to reset one skill point here, but the rest is all fine. So I don't know what class mod we have. So. I Cannot really, oh, we don't have a class mod yet. Okay, we don't have a class mod yet, so I can't really say anything there. Uh, unless we can actually buy a class mod already. What was that? I might not have a until later. school degree, so but when you get shot, you'll be happy I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna sell this weapon, level four weapon. Fuck off! Like, what? You want me to do a level four weapon? Sledge, um, kill Sledge and take his Iridian Artifact. This is, um, for Headstone Mine, we have a couple, um, Scavenger, yeah, let's do that one. Bounty Board Missions. This is one Bounty Board Mission, and then the rest is... Because I'm gonna have to... Oh, let me, let me put my microphone closer. Put your microphone closer, cause it sounds like I'm talking from far away. Um, what's my weapon proficiency? Let's see, uh, pistols five, good, and snipers three. We're gonna, we gotta, we're gonna have to increase the sniper, pistols and sniper. Um, what I wanted to say was. Um, 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 let me know if you guys enjoy this. And if you do, smash that like button. If you didn't already. Uh, come with a rifle body. We, oh, why, am, why am I running there? This is gonna take longer. Okay. Not if there's a station there. So I can teleport over there. It doesn't matter one way or the other. It's a level 10 skag. Or level 18. We're already ready for sledge, but. That hurt. <laughs> Not gonna give me much XP shooting them. Um, what I'm really hyped for is doing Borderlands 2 with Nick, though. And Borderlands the pre sequel. We're gonna do the pre sequel first because it takes place before Borderlands. Um, I don't know why it's still. Main green. Time for a nice relaxing drive. I agree. Time for a nice relaxing drive. I'm gonna jump off here. To 
Check that checkpoint, even though we're not gonna go to that checkpoint yet. We get the combat rifle body and the the stock, the sight, and the barrel. I need my sniper. Let's get some criticals with the sniper as well. Huh? SMG. Bad SMG. A really bad one. Bloodwing. Go take him out. Birdie. That's my boy. That's my boy. Birdie, birdie. Okay. Can I shoot? Is that a barrel? No, oh, that's not a barrel. Thought it was a barrel, though. Oh my god, bruisers. Get fucked. Really, if you headshot, headshot them. I really don't have any chance. You gotta squeal before we cook ya! Somebody shoot! Critical with the sniper. I really wanna get that sniper proficiency up. Okay, that's one part. You can get through the main story quite fast. Um, but where really Borderlands 1 gets boring for me is like mid part. Like um, getting out of Firestone and then doing the rest. But Borderlands 2 and pre-sequel had none of that. It was like... It was a different game entirely. It's, it's, it doesn't play different. It's just... Well, it plays different uh, in, in terms of how much it has. It has so much more to offer. I cannot really explain it. That well. Part of here. Objective complete. There's one more though. Where was this part? Oh, apparently it's it's telling me where the part is, but it's not really o over there. not over there oh man there's a there's a psycho over there no but you gotta get that sniper proficiency up forget the locations i literally did this with nick last time and now i forgot where the locations were um you see i have short-term memory loss bear with me uh, i cannot sometimes i cannot uh hold these thoughts oh yeah, okay, well, we weapons first. Explosive damage, even though this is worse. 
It has explosive element though. It's better. It's actually better though. That machine gun might be better too. Um. No. The machine gun is worse. Cost is way, way worse than the, uh... If we look at this sniper and this sniper. The cost is worse on, on that sniper. But also, this one has explosive damage, which is better. It has to be over here. Pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Now we gotta get back to... Okay, she... That guy over there... Might just jump out off here. There we go. No, not, not the gunner's seat! Fucking Mordecai, man. So, I'm gonna record two parts of, um... Borderlands, and then I might switch it off to Prototype and then back to Borderlands. So I really do wanna... I do want to kind of mix series on YouTube and I might even stream on YouTube as I said because it's a much broader uh, audience and you'll get people quicker to uh, show up at Twitch than uh, not and you gotta build your um, if, you're, if you're gonna be a content creator you might as well stream on YouTube because building your your um, your audience on, t on Twitch is like it's 10 times harder because um, they're, they're, it's randomized. Like people just show up because they want to see the content. And if they watch a YouTube video, they watch it for what they seek. So they seek someone with that wants to play Borderlands, right? So that's how it goes. And I got the, that's the algorithm. I know I know a lot about the algorithm today. I know especially I know a lot about the algorithm and how YouTube works and Twitch works and all of that. Anyway, enough about it. I I'd rather not talk about those topics and just switch it to different topics. Whatever, we're gonna turn this one in. Uh, I might as well just. Oh damn, that's a nice assault rifle, even though. I have better weapons entirely, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep it in my uh, inventory, though. I might sell these other weapons. Buy an atlas, and you too can see what it feels like to hold the power of the gods in your hands. This this one might might be useful still. I don't know why I turned those that quest in, because. That quest is literally uh what I'm about to say. That quest is literally part of this the Badlands, so I don't know why I just turned it in. Because I could have turned it in after I was done doing all those other quests. Which I'm gonna do now. Um but I should have done everything and then turned it in. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, it just takes a, a little, bit, little bit longer, of course. Because now you're gonna have to... Um, go back to that location and then turn it in. Again. So... That's Borderlands for you. That's the first Borderlands for you. Borderlands 2 is much more... It's much better. It's much, much better. Like, we're talking about 10 times what Borderlands 1 had to offer. Um, so, so like in Borderlands 2, and even though Borderlands 1 had so many weapons, Borderlands 2 had a much better gameplay aspect, and Borderlands the pre-sequel had that too. It had everything that Borderlands 2 already had, because it came after Borderlands 2. But we play it uh, before Borderlands 2 because it has a story arc that needs to be played before Borderlands 2, so... Um, and I'm also going to do it in my free time, just playing Borderlands, the pre-sequel, just already getting familiar with the game, because it... I never really completed this pre-sequel. 
So that's also one thing. Ooh, okay. Liquid Sniper. Am I going to buy it? It's better though. If we look at the price, like the, the range of weapons that we have right now. We... Like if we look at the at the price of this this weapon right here, this this motherfucker is, yeah. Can I can I already buy armory slots? I did buy. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even buy armory slots. I thought I did. I thought I did buy. You can't use that. Oh. Repeater pistol? What? Hold on. A common rifle. I'm, uh, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy the sniper. This one has elemental damage. It's better. So if there's something that I learned, it's elemental damage, whatever. Sniper and shit. Okay. The final round of the Circle of Death is level 18. And we're exactly level 18. We're a little bit over 18. So we might even over level. So. The sniper is really good because of its elemental impact these alpha skags are so fucking annoying though anyway but we won't take care of it uh, thank you I might want to invest in the right skill tree first and then middle, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter what you invest in with uh, Hunter. Unless you play second playthrough, whatever. Okay, this one's... Okay. What are we doing? Should use. Oh damn. That's fucked. We're still in the race though. You see what these alpha skags? It's fucking annoying because you can only hit them under the belly. Sometimes Bloodwing will do critical damage to him. Badass Fire Alpha. This is... He's level 19, man. What the fuck happened? I got him. I shot that grenade right up his fucking ass. Sure, breathe, breathe your fire. Gotta shoot him on his ass. Shoot this guy on his ass, man. Molly one. Good snipers. Good elemental. They have good elementals in, in general. Molly one is really good in... Uh, Hyperion and Molly one, I think, is really good in... Borderlands 2. And pre-sequel. 
and Torque also. When he literally has a DLC dedicated to him. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. That's what I like. Some of the companies really shine out in Borderlands. Like Hyperion, I know, character from Borderlands still. Ooh, okay. Better pistol. That's completely random though. Like this, this is a randomized drop, I think. So randomized. However, we got, we already got the better version of this one, I think. Reload speed is minus 30, but we're plus 30 reload. Um, this one has a scope though, and it's level 13. There's a little bit less damage, but it also has minus 63 damage if you see that. It's like, it's completely the opposite, I think. 62 reload, no. It's not a good weapon. Would not recommend keeping it. Just sell it. If you get the same drop. If you get the same drop, that is, of course, yeah. Let's just sell it. I need... What do I need in terms of, like... Did I get revolver? I did get revolver, I did get repeater. Got shotgun, I got SMG. I got launcher. I got grenades, combat rifle, sniper. Oh, I got sniper as well. Okay. We're good then. Um, it automatically, what well, I hit the fan, that's the one that we need to do. I should have just jumped in the buggy. I don't know why I'm not doing that, but whatever. I didn't know you could do that with G. Like look back and then shoot. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, this is just perfect. Oh, never mind. Get myself off of it. I always do it like this. He's literally flying up there. That was not him though. I see a weapon. It's a terrible shotgun, but more damage though, but still terrible. Cool. I hit the fan turn in. Pretty much every quest turn in, I think now. Oh yeah, we're gonna turn in. We might as well just go ahead and... Yeah, we can go either directly to Headstone Mine and then turn that quest into, or... <sighs> we'll go to Headstone Mine, fuck it. Don't we have... Wait, what's that question mark? Boy. What's that fucking? This one, Can't you want? 
Oh. That's the outpost. We didn't unlock this outpost yet, so it was like, oh. This is an outpost. Sure. Uh, Sledge battle for the Badlands. Kill Sledge and take his art already an artifact. We could. But then we have to go back to what hit the fan. No, we have to... Let's turn in Shep. And then we'll go to Sledge. It's the better order to do. I'm also doing a... Believe it or not, I'm also doing a Siren playthrough. Of Borderlands 1. I, I know, it's... <laughs> this game... Whenever you play through it again, it's like... Oh, no. But, like, Borderlands 2 is, like... It's fun, so it's like... I don't really care. Killing an enemy gives you chaotic health regeneration for a few seconds. Increases melee damage also. Oh, this is this is really handy. Holy shit, that, that is that is really OP. That is really OP. Might as well just get that one. And then invest more in Bloodwing. Bloodwing can get so OP later on. Yeah, I think we were literally about at the end of, uh, you know, killing Sledge, which is... Which is where we're going now. Killing Sledge. I remember doing this and with a friend, I, I told Nick this in Dutch, I was doing this with a friend and he was like level 16 15 and we were going down we were just going down every every single fucking time we would die and um yeah, that that never went away because <laughs> that thought just stayed with me you know just stay with me Sniper proficiency up. Let's go. Bruisers, I, you should just shoot them in the head. Bloodwing, do your stuff. Boom. Oh! <laughs> Regeneration is activating. Somebody shoot this guy. I should upgrade that all the way. The health regeneration. Yeah, I'm a loot whore. I like to loot lots of stuff. I just accept it. You know, that I'm a loot whore. Ooh, Primal Masher? Okay. This one does more damage though. But min minus 555 damage, so you should count that it's bad. Ooh, this, this sniper. It's worse than the explosive one I have, though. It's nice to have more damage, but... When we look at the odds... This one has an explosive... Chance. So really... You can't go wrong with this one. Yeah, I like to casually play through games because I don't really want to rush things, you know? But when it comes to like Borderlands, 
I guess, yeah, when I do, like, a second playthrough or something. I know what to do. And then I'll rush a little bit faster, but... It's not like I'm gonna go... Fast because of it, too. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I should take this one. Because I have a shotgun with elemental fire damage. Um, but explosion damage doesn't sound too bad. Crimson Cobra. Don't I already have the Crimson Cobra two times now? I don't know which one is better. Uh, this, this one, I guess, because this one has better fire rate. It has a 16.0 fire rate. This one has 10.0, so it's going to be ridiculously fast damage output. Um, so, yeah. Minus 55. This one also has minus 56 damage, so it doesn't really matter. It's This one has more damage, though, but it's not... It's a six-shotter, but it doesn't have a scope. Um... Yeah, having an SMG is nice, but at the same time, highly effective. Chance to light enemies on fire. So that's also nice. Then again, I tried it out. It's The accuracy just sucks on this thing. It's, right, it's all random chance what you get, so. I mean, that's Borderlands 2 as well, but random chance and that's that's the nice part about it every playthrough is gonna be different Let's see you run from this. holy fuck that guy that guy had me yeah that guy that guy really have had me he really fucking had me Of chance. Thought I heard another psycho up here. Or down down there. Come on. Die bitch. Guess she could go from this side or the other side, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter one way or the other. Oh, okay. I'm gonna walk through the weapons in a minute, not now mid mid fight, you know. Ooh. In case. Ooh. Okay. That is fire rate is higher. Elemental shock, though. That is extremely OP, I think. And it's like, it's not less than what I have now, so... It could be better. Yeah. Times 3 shock, which is better for me. Z. X10. Sounds better to my ears. Um... Plus two on a critical damage. Okay, I guess... I guess that is better because... The crit damage... On it is, is massive. And it's level 19. It's the same... The same sniper that I had before, but... Has high crit damage. Reload is also a little bit faster, so it's nice too. Yeah, this sniper is way better. I hate that fucking machine gun over there. I'm gonna sit back for a little bit and... Because, you know, Hunter really is all about that... Long range combat situation. 
He's not really one that goes up close and personal. Wait, was that a... Did I just skip a gun box? I almost just skipped. Price on that one. Turn a crit damage. They're both level 15. Ones I would just. I'm gonna have to drop one weapon. For a more expensive one. Gotcha. That's how you do that. You get rid of him first because he's... Bruiser over there. Yeah. Send blood wing. Oh damn. I didn't know he was standing behind me. Okay. I really had no idea he was standing behind me. Did a lot of damage, but yeah. We gained some of the health back. Not everything though. When things get rough, you want to pull out the pistol. Otherwise, just keep using the sniper. Crit damage. Damn, that's high. That hurt. Do you even have to ask, Bloodwing? Did that hurt? Oh, he lost his head. Of course, that hurt. And you would ask yourself, how does this guy call himself a hunter? Hmm. All right, boys, take him. You like that? You could approach this mission in different ways, like this area. way I'm doing it right, right now is I'm kind of playing it mid 
safe and also yeah you can kind of go all out I'm pulling pistols sometimes I gotta drop some, uh, some of these. Drop. Wait, there was a weapon over there? Almost forgot this weapon. There's an assault rifle. Or is something. I don't know. This this has f high fire rate. I don't know if that's gonna be better, but I mean, it has it has elemental damage. So I mean, that's that's already a plus. Um, Shotgun. It's better. This one has times three. This one's level 14 as well. level 16 though so I mean it has high damage I'll put one shot down damage output rusty sniper ggn5 and this is gtn29 it's better though if we're gonna look at what it shoots it only shoots three rifle uh, shoots three shots though that is one thing This shotgun still it's still better for some reason. Okay. I don't know why that that is still better. For some reason it is. Gonna go, we're gonna go up and finally kill Sledge. And I think I'm gonna leave off the episode after that too. That's mods. What else do we have there? Nothing. We're just gonna... Thousands. Yeah, sure. Sell all this. 
the co oh the cobra I do wanna it's debatable whether it Are the effective versus shields? That, no, that, no, okay. Versus shields. That's also good stuff. Level 16, this. It's level 12. Highly effective versus flesh. High elemental effect chance. Good too. Actually, is it this, I don't know whether this shot can or that shot can. This one sounds better though. If you need healing, step right up. I don't want to sell that one yet. Sixteen. Two class mods. One shield. Okay, here we go. It's sledge time. This one is a brute, and he has a powerful shield you will need to whittle down before you can hurt him. Don't let him touch you. Sure. Here we go. You must be bounty hunter. Sledge will punish you. Yeah, I don't get my recordings. I do. I, I hate it when people say, Oh, you cannot drink in your videos. Too many, too many people told me that. Total bullshit, believe me. I never He's dead. Oh, okay. Sledge's shotgun. There we go. It's really good if you um, if you have a bad shotgun, of course. If you have a bad shotgun right now, you have a good shot shotgun now. I should get rid of these med kits. The Iridian artifact and some money. Like some stacks. The vault is real. What you are holding is the key that opens it. One part of it, anyway. I mean, that's one. Yeah, it's one part of the, the vault, as she said. The legend lives. <laughs> Ten thousand burst count. his shotgun I mean so 57 times 11 this is Commandant Steel of the Atlas oh no Commandant Steel she is again I have just been informed that you have arrived Go on back. Pandora in search of the vault yes and within minutes have started killing the locals and causing a disturbance this planet is under the authority of the Atlas Corporation and any Iridian artifacts found here are Atlas property Possession of sure. such property carries a steep penalty. 
I invite oh, you yeah. to turn yourself in at once to the nearest I don't care about your penalty. and surrender any information or artifacts in your possession. Consider this your one and only okay. warning. We compare Sledge's shotgun. Worst. Worse. It's much worse. And this is level 12. Like, look at the amount of money it says that it's worth. It's a, it's a nice shotgun. Durable reload. Gonna go back down. We can just jump off though, but choosing to. Terrible fucking reload on this shotgun, man. Oh damn. I want to upgrade blood, blood wing more. Don't settle for anything less than the best. As well. I'm going to sell this. We're going to sell this. I don't know if I want this or that. This, this, this seems like a very high fire rate. This this one's still more effective against shields. No, the shotgun I, that I have now is better, but. turn in and then I'm gonna finish this um, episode off here I might switch it to prototype record some prototype as well so you guys have the different series um, but at the same time I might continue and do another part of Borderlands Mordecai playthrough. Um, but I I don't mind if like if I play Borderlands two and I have to play through Borderlands one um, for Mordecai playthrough. Like I don't mind that. It's not. I'm stuck. Oh, that's just that's just awesome. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, but I don't mind if I have to redo. Or if I have to redo some miss missions, I really don't give a, nice don't give a fuck about it. Um, or go back to Borderlands 1. It's just... Some people say Borderlands 1 is better than 2. That's just absolute dog shit. Like, how can you say that game is better than 2? When 2 has so many more elements, so much better... It's like saying Kingdom Hearts 1 is better than 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 has a better gameplay than, than one, like 10 times better. And Kingdom Hearts 3 is on par with 2 for me, at least from what I've seen. I've not played it, but um, it's about as on par as it gets. Um, it's just the amount of content that a game could have have that's that's what matters to me if a, if a game has so much content so much to do then borderlands still wins you know there's no there's no debate in that 
drink to that. Busted Wait. up nine toes and beat the it hell out of Sledge. You're making Ooh, a name plus team health for generation and fast hand skill. I already put into Pierce to give you clearance on through to the doll headlight. What the fuck? What the fuck are you giving me that one? Why survivor? Wait, I'm not even playing with a. That's such a bullshit, man. <laughs> They're giving me the worst. Leaving Firestone? We're not leaving Firestone yet. Why did they give me the fucking fast hand skill? And the team health for generation. I'm not even playing in co-op. So what? I should just... Damage with sniper rifles? No. Sniper rifles do a lot of damage already, so I shouldn't I shouldn't even recommend the skill tree. But all guns. All awesome. you you can have different builds, but I recommend going for rogue and gunslinger. Cause you get predator. And hair trigger. Which is really nice and relentless. The fast hands. Okay, I'm getting I'm I guess I'm getting that one. It's it's not that bad actually. No 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 no. Team health for generation. It's not bad. Cause it's for the middle tree. So it's rogue. Uh so I have one point of fast hands. Based on the amount of damage done. Swift strike. Bloodwing damage and movement speed. Cause then we still drop additional money, ammo, and healing items when it attacks. That is really nice to have too. Um But at the same you wanna go to Predator? To fire two shots with the pull, the trigger instead of just one, that's crazy too. Melee attacks, I, I really don't give a shit about melee attacks, so I'm not really going for that one. Stop to talk about Ernest found, find Bruce McLean, sabotage, whatever bullshit. Find Bruce McLean. Oh yeah, we gotta blow up uh, Sledge's safe house. I, I was about to say, I didn't forget about that just now, did, did I? Drink a lot of Mountain Dew these days. But Bruce McLean, I think Bruce McLean has also has one mission. Or was it not? Hold on. It's just a guy that I had to find, I think. Yeah, 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 he had one mission. Okay, I wasn't done. We're gonna do the box of cigars mission. Oh, was it double repeater? Oh, we 
waste that, that much ammo. Ooh, okay. Atlas, bloody justice. Look at that shit, man. One from one fire raid. This shit is, uh... That is crazy. That is crazy. That is a crazy gun. This one's better. Bloody justice is better. I want to get rid of the fucking shotgun too. To be honest. Level 13 scoped rifle. This one has elemental damage, but is also level 13. I don't, I don't know what to go for here. This is uh, crazy. I'm afraid I'm gonna regret that, but okay. Um. That's a waste though, but look at, look at the worth of, of that weapon. I don't know, I think Sledge's shotgun has a nice melee damage, as you can see. But it just takes so long to reload that shit. Uh, so you really want to get something else for it. You can get a better one later on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Too. You can farm the shit out of it. Did a cigar mission, so we uh, get that out of the way. <laughs> nice flip. I was about to say, yeah, Bruce M oh. McLean had one mission. Where, um,. We do the cigar finding shit. Why do you Let me help you guys. Get up! They got too many guns on me! Help you guys oh. out. There we go. That's one box. Still, it's one more. Got where the last one is. Hey, where the fuck is the last one? You get up there. The guide for this mission is terrible. Oh, we do have that mission with the skulls as well. I thought I already did that one. Guess not. Wherever you are, it's time for my town to flash. I'm gonna 
Been doing this mixed with the cigar mission. Fuck it. Crazy. Wait a minute, why did it switch? It did switch for something. The skulls. So you want me to share, huh? Yeah. Bad weapons. No sharing needed for that. Could be at the beginning of the gate. Yep. Okay, now we go to the different, the other quest. The box of cigar, a cigars quest. Level 20. Nice. About level 36, 30, no wait, 38, no, 36, sorry, and we would be done with the game, so it's about 16 levels away, which is still a lot, but yeah, if you, if you think about it, it's not, it doesn't take that long, if you don't take too damn long like I do on this part oh my god you gotta go all the way around on top here you gotta run on top oh my god man like, how do you get on top there that's it's insane That runs all the way around. It might be outside of the gate. Then. 
Oh yeah. Wow. When when literally it's it's quite literally outside. Let's hope there's something good in this chest. Lady Luck mm, no. <laughs> it's incredibly fucking awful. Doll mercenary. Last repeat. It's a repeater too, that's fucked up. Well maybe for a repeater would be good, but we already have an Atlas revolver, which is way better. care about your machines that's the thing that's the thing <sighs> incendiary shotgun all of this sucks Maybe that one. That one could be good though. We already have an assault rifle, it's better, so. In that case, I wouldn't really. barely give any XP now. Like once you you visit it. You come back and you have the same level enemies here. Oh, we got some racks over there. Numb to the voices. Complete challenge. Get him, Bloodwing. stood the most out of in the first game I don't know brick is just mindlessly mashing if you love berserking go for brick if you love tanky build brick um, otherwise I would say hunter would probably be my favorite yeah because I don't know, a soldier is just all around. If you're the average player that doesn't really care about any stats, just to choose soldier. First playthrough maybe also be nice for soldier because it has everything average. So I would take soldier for first playthrough because then you can maximize that soldier out and then you have a really OP build as well. Uh, but any character can get OP builds. It's just, you know, reaching it. It's it's hard in this game. In this game, in this in the first game, it's hard to reach that because this was the, the building part to Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel, where you would get way stronger at the end. Okay, I, I think I got something for that. A sniper. Which, again, it is worse. <laughs> Leaving Firestone? Nope. We gotta blow up um, the pipelines of Sledge. By the way, Nick and I completed Dr. Z Zombie Iceland in 1 hour and 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to replicate that with Mordecai, but I can't really promise because we're going 
through the game again with Mordecai, of course, in English, but it's... Yeah, it's, it, you know, Borderlands 1 playing through 100 times? No, I wouldn't do. I, I can't do that today, man. Today it's like... Two times maybe, but not... I could not see myself play this game 50 times over. It, it become boring, yeah. But I can I can see myself play 50 times Borderlands 2 or Borderlands 3 sequel, yeah. Because it, 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 this was the first experimental phase of the game. But I really had to flesh out the weapons first. And then bank on that idea. Wait, why, why was that worse? <laughs> most, most of the times grenade mods are better. <laughs> that drop. I'm just gonna try and blow up fucking Sledge's safe house. Fucking midgets, man. Ooh, he dropped a nice weapon. It's worthless, though. Doesn't have any elemental damage. It's not effective against shields. Most of the enemies have been taken care of here. There we go. Let's watch it go down before we go. I pressed F12 to uh, take a picture. Looks like just safe house going up in flames again. Sledge is is like the first. He's the dude that sets you out of Firestone. He sets the things in motion. Everything that comes after Firestone is done by Sledge. He's the guy that triggers class mods. He's the guy that triggers the first like actual. Good boss shotgun, but also not because it's the preload is just terribly fucking slow. <coughs> Leaving Firestone is a mission, but we have to. Find Ernest. And then leave Fire Firestone, but. Let's get our feet out of the dust. Bye bye, TK Baja. We're going. I'm never returning to Firestone. At least, not in this game. Well, only if I want to farm weapons, of course, you might return to 
to get another bone shredder or whatever. A better, bo a better bone shredder or a better DK ba blast gun. But there's also Ba's better blaster. Was the last bounty board mission now we're gonna do um we're gonna get out of firestone and i'm gonna probably leave it off there to do this again with like siren is it it's kind of yeah it is kind of tiring Doing it immediately again with Siren. I just hold the whole part because I'm still at the beginning with Siren. Where I still have to go to Skag Gully and all that. Like half of the game takes part in this part uh, place. Well, not really. Kind of. So, you think the vault is real, eh? Mm -hmm. Everyone is talking about it. This is the biggest thing that's happened here in a long time. Think of the visitors we will have. Let's see. Listen, if you find it, what's inside could be worth a fortune. But only if you get the right... So, you think the vault is real? Why is he repeating this? Everyone is um. talking about it. This is the biggest thing that's happened here in a long time. Think of the Where visitors. Why the fuck is he repeating have. that? Listen, if you find it, what's inside could be worth a fortune. But only if you get the right partner to help you sell it. Sure. Partners. And I should trust you, Marcus. Hmm. Suspicious dude, always been. Downloading and analyzing your DNA record. Human status confirmed. Access to the doll headland is granted. Please stand by while I activate the gate for you. Cool. And yes, you are now free to enter. Bye bye. I don't want to hear your voice. Ever again, Claptrap 2.0. Okay. So we're gonna find Ernest now. Take a look at these class mods. I should have bought one. Fast hands and survivors probably best. This one has two swipe and then team reload speed and also th three team health regeneration. But then I should ask like Pangolin. That one looks better. 
To be honest. It, it has so many skills. It's level 16 too. Yeah, so, um, we're now in the doll headlands. Um, I'm gonna finish it off here. Let me see, what was swipe? What was the swipe skill? Oh, that's, that's Bloodwing skill, so... If I take swipe... Then it maximizes my swipe skill. So the one from Pan Pangolin. If I take that one from level 16. It would maximize the, swi uh, the, the swipe skill. And then I could put my points in. Probably because it also sets up Riotus Remedy. I think it has that one too. Um, Yeah, I can't see that anymore. But probably had Riotus Remedy as well. So I, I could have, I could have pulled a couple in here, gun crazy. I'd probably put, put, uh, put a lot of gun crazy ones in and critical damage one. Um, so crit damage, deadly and then gun crazy. And then I would put three in out for blood. Or two in out for blood. And one in fast hands. Or two in fast hands, might be. Yeah, so we gotta do... Okay, this one's level 18 now. Bandit's killed. This one's level 18. We, we do that one first. That's a story quest, though. Nah, but we'll do this one first. Big game hunter. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna do that Lots of stuff been showing up missing, uh, tomorrow, sure. I think. No, tomorrow, actually, tomorrow I'm doing general knocks with Nick. So, with my um, berserker. The, f the f level 40 build that we have now. Level 41 build. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm gonna stop now probably with Borderlands and just do something else but yeah uh, you'll probably see this somewhere next week I can't promise when but you'll, you'll see it next week and uh, with that being said I'm gonna see you guys later bye bye